Welcome to my playthrough of a Half-Life 1 mod called Someplace Else. Now this mod, from what I've been told, is only around 20 minutes long, so it's not long enough to stream, but I did want to make a video of it. The reason I'm making a video of it is because this mod is made by the same modder that made Minerva Metastasis. And Minerva was such a good mod that it actually landed this person a job at Valve. An extra fun fact is that I've kind of had an impromptu interview with this person over on Reddit. I got a good screenshot of Minerva, I posted it, and a good four months after I posted it, he left a comment in the thread, and it more or less turned into an interview with me, me asking him questions in a forgotten Reddit thread, which I thought was really cool. We got to talking about how, to me, that mod seemed obviously heavily inspired by the silent cartographer, uh, and I asked him about that, and he basically said yes, and he had his own, like, ripoff name for it that was very similar to the sound cartographer. I won't say anything more. I'll just let you read it if you want to. I put a link down below in the video information to a screenshot of that conversation I had with them. Really cool stuff, but for now I want to talk about this mod, this game, which I have not played, so let's go ahead and, go ahead and play it on medium. This is only one map. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. So this mod is just like Minerva, where you have some mysterious being thing talking to you through that text. I have a crowbar, I would like a gun. There we go. Shotgun, and a, did I pick up a shotgun? I did pick up a shotgun, that's cool. Yeah, it's just like Minerva where you have this person talking to you, person thing. You know, I don't think you ever actually figure out what is talking to you. Like I said, I've never actually played this mod, so this mod is as much, whoa, of a mystery as I, to me, as it is to you if you have not played it. There we go. Suitable gun. Like my shotgun, though. It's not only a grunt, there's Vortigaunts. And obviously by the, the name of the mod and from what you're seeing, you're in Zen the entire time. Though from what I've heard, uh, the level design of this mod is much better than the level design that Half-Life 1 had in Zen. Uh, everyone always seems to hate Zen just because of the way Half-Life 1 did it with mostly jumping puzzles and using the jetpack booster thing, the super jump puzzle. I forget the actual name of it.
your enemies. Hey, shot hey, grenades. I was just gonna talk about the shotgun ammo, but I'll take the grenades too. Now, so far from what I've seen, the level design does seem to be better, although I do think it looks a little too... human. Like, this doesn't really remind me of Zen. <laughs> Try not to antagonize the locals. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna run around with the shotgun killing everything. Uh, what did that button do? I don't know what the button did. Probably turned something on? I'm not sure. I hear grunts. Damn it, I got stuck on the wall. That killed it. Not sure why that kills it so quickly when before it took like a million shots. Uh, nope. Come get me. Who wants a shotgun? I mean, a hug. A hug with my shotgun shell. It's friendly, I swear.
I have a feeling that that remark that she just made was a nod to a previous mod that this modder made. I'm not sure though. I've never actually never. I've never actually played any of his other mods aside from Minerva. So I might look more into it. Uh It's making a noise now, but whoa. So that's what it does. So, judging by the time it's saying that this person is talking to me, this mod was released in 2002. And that gravity lift uh, was likely inspired by Halo 1, since I know this person is a Halo fan. Most likely the truth in reconciliation. Well, what'd that do? It made a noise, but what'd it do? I don't know what it do, but it do something. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I can fall. I didn't even notice. I think I'm in some sort of... No, I'm in Zen. I thought I was on some sort of spaceship for a moment. Yeah. Time to survive. I would have loved some rockets, rockets, some grenades right about now. I don't think I can kill this one. Oh, I think I was supposed to see them running away. Oh, now they all die. From all the damage I did to them. Alright, that was a little weird. It's fine though. Fuck your bees. <laughs> wow. But I don't get it. Sometimes the grunt... Really? All the way the fuck back here? Bullshit. I did better that time, at least. Oh, 
Okay. Let's try this again without the grunt taking about eight shotgun shells to the face and not giving a shit. You know what, actually? Eat this bitch. Okay, that is an elevator. I was afraid of getting crushed. Um. Door? Okay, I guess that door is locked. Okay, that door is still locked, so I wonder if I missed... Uh oh, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? What happened? There we go. Will this electrocute me? Ouch. Let's see, any doors I missed? Doors, buttons. Ah, oh, there we go. I don't know what the point of having that elevator there is if you don't use it. Oh, you probably do. Oh, I killed it. There's something amazingly satisfying about fighting the Vortigaunts in this game. It's probably because they die so quickly, holy shit. Compared to these grunts that don't give a shit. Oh, that I invisible reloaded. Now there was open. Whoa.
All right, well, this is the entire mod. Like I said, it was too short uh, to do a stream of it, but I wanted to post it anyway. Um, the name of the guy that made this mod is Adam Foster, as you're probably seeing on the right-hand side of the screen. He works at Valve at this point now, and all that stuff. Uh, this is only one map, but that's what's so, I guess, respectable and clever about it. The amount of different layers within this one, one map, the amount of stuff you can do within the one map, instead of having linear corridor hallways after linear corridor hallways, it's a very clever design, and I, I guess I understand why he was obsessed with the silent cartographer when he made that Minerva, because that's the same exact thing the silent cartogra cartographer did. Just had an island that you went down in the middle and came back up out of. Uh, very clever design, and that's generally, I mean, it's obvious why he got hired by Valve, so... There's been my playthrough of it. Again, if you wanted to see that thing on Reddit I've been talking about, again, click the link down below in the video information. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.